They've led by as many as 10. So I mean, there's Longo. And that shank to the side, that is an ace. Shank to the side by Moreland. Boy, he's really dominating at the net. Nine, uh, seven to three right now. And Longo really getting comfortable but from behind the service line. That ball served harder than usual. Adolfo in the middle now for Hawaii. Serving as Longo. Deesbury, that ball hit over by Brown, then blocked back. That's going to be a lift called on Fullerton. Fullerton really didn't have anything going that time. And it's now 20 to 9. Longo doing the yo-yo serve. She drove one deep to Moreland the first time. Then she served her short. Let's see if she goes short or deep. This one is a deep one. Biggest lead for Hawaii here in the second set. The ball is hit over by Nito. There's Croson. And that ball goes off to uh, Dewberry. 21-9. Do you think Fullerton woke the sleeping giant in set be. number one? It what do you think, be. Jim? I mean, Hawaii is completely different the way they're playing, their attitude, their effectiveness here in this second set. Longo floats one over. Outside, it goes to Moreland. Saved by Crenshaw. Gets it back from Uiato. Rather, by Croson, I should say. The ball is put over by Brown. Saved by Hartung. Hit over by Croson. Kansani. And Kansani goes to Moreland, and Moreland gets it through the double block. So it's 21 to 10. Good swing by Moreland to finish that rally. She just unloaded and just forced the ball through that block. A well formed block, by the way. Hawaii, eight blocks now to Fortune's three. Hawaii hitting 417 to Fortune's zero in this set. Almer serving. Hartung Uiato. Big hit at that time by Olebao. Moreland saved by Hartung, one-handed save, goes over by Adolfo, but they call a lift. So it's 21 to 11. Hawaii leading by 10. Biggest lead for Hawaii in this set, 12. Almer to serve again. Into the net. 22-11, Hawaii. Back into the game is Holland to Crenshaw, but she's just there to take out Brown. Hawaii now making the double sub, getting Uyato out of the front row, putting a bigger blocker, Kayla Goodman in, and then putting Stauber, Monica Stauber, in the back row to set for Uyato. Stauber serves it. Nito. Asani. There's Nito. That's in the air by Hartung. Hartung hits it, and that is just out. Hawaii's biggest goal throughout the rest of this set should be to not let Fullerton gain any momentum. It's a tougher Fullerton to win this set, but they certainly can gain momentum if Hawaii lets them back in. Hawaii leading 22 to 12. Serving his morality. And that is wide, so it's 23 to 12. Croson will go back to serve, see whether she tries to reach the roof here. Gets it in. Asani, step out, best. Lay up best. Good step out move by best. And it's 23 to 13. Coach Zimmerman about Leah Best, I said, how good is she? She has, she has the potential to dominate in this league when she really learns the game. Moreland will serve now for Fullerton. And that's an ace. That went off Croson. Croson appeared to have poached in front of Longo. Now you think those three should have it together as to who's got what territory. Longo, I think, just told Croson to move over. Croson's taking more sideline right now. Longo's taking a lot of court in the middle. Moreland to serve. Longo, stopper, and that ball is hit down by Hartung. Hartung right there, and it's now Aloha ball for the second set. Hawaii comes roaring back in the second set. I mean, it, it's a character change. It's, who were those guys in the first set? 
He's a former Maui Interscholastic MVP. Serving his long. Ball hit by Moreland in the air by Croson. Stopper. Artong. It's over. Second set goes to Hawaii and goes to Hawaii decisively. 25 to 14. And now this match is even. Welcome back, everyone, on this Thanksgiving Eve. Let's take a look at the McDonald's match stats. Well, these are the stats for the first two sets, but it was really a story of uh, two different sets for the Rainbow Wahine. They hit what, 108 in one set and 353 in the other for a total of hitting 231 of the night to Fullerton's 157. The, another story of the night was the blocking. Hawaii dominating at the net, eight blocks to three for Fullerton, digging in the back row about even, and Hawaii behind the service line serving much better for service aces to Fullerton's one. So now we go to the third set. Hawaii did not perform well in the first set, and Fullerton did. You cannot take any kind of thing that, well, Hawaii wasn't playing well. Fullerton played very well. In the second set, Hawaii got on their game, and they're able to dominate. Now comes the third set, and the third set is always the adjustment set. What have the coaches told their players? What have the assistant coaches told either the front row or the back row on how to play certain situations? We're gonna see all of that in the third set. There's a player, there's a there's a coach named uh, Anton Willard who, who has a computer and he's, he's taking stats on everything that Cal State Fullerton does and he shares his information during sets two and three as well. And Dave shows you will often use that information to develop a strategy for set number three. So we'll see if any of Anton's advice works. There you see Anton right there. He's a graduate student. Helps out the men's team as well. Evan Ulmer will serve. We're underway in the third set. Maeda Uyato Hartung. That's in the air by Ulmer, then put down on an overpass. Put down on an overpass by Kalea Dolphin. Forster goes into the front row. Hawaii gets the first point in the third set. Hawaii has started both sets very, very well. But in the first set, Fullerton caught them. Here's Longo serving. That's a shank. A ball hit out by Moreland. Longo's really been successful serving Moreland cross court like that. That's uh, Longo's third service ace, and she's now served the ball more than any other Rainbow Wahine tonight, 16 times. Longo serves it again. This one is long. Good move by Nito in the back row as that ball sailed over her head. So here's, here's Cousin Abby. <laughs> Getting ready to serve here, Abby Moraldi. You know, they've been here since Sunday. Fullerton really took advantage of the fact that the last game they had was uh, was last Saturday. And they hustled over on Sunday to get here five days in Hawaii. Artung, tough angle. The ball hit over by Moreland, goes off Longo. Croson gets it across. In the air by Moraldi. That ball is hit over and down by Best. Yes. Good swing by Leah Best at 6'6", one of the tallest players in the league, if not the tallest player in the league. And as Coach Zimmerman said, she has the potential to dominate. She goes over Jay Vorster, and Vorster's pretty big at 6'4". Raldi serving again. Here's Uyato setting up Hartung. That's blocked back. Maeda, Uyato, Hartung again for the second time. That ball goes off of the one-handed defense in the back row by Nito. Kayla Nito unable to handle that. It's 3 2. Kayla Goodman getting a chance to play here in set number three. Um, Ty Manu Olival not so successful at the net. No kills in the first two sets. Oriato with an ace. So Kayla Goodman's going to get a chance to see how she does on the right side.
Uyato looking over at the bench, getting ready to serve. Four serving two. Look up by Moraldi. That ball hit down by Best. Boy, he gets 6 6 up there. And that's a tough angle to defend. We're starting to go to her more now. Right, I think feels like the ball is going to continue to go to Moreland or Nito, and so they're leaving the big player alone in the middle because the balls don't get set to her very much, but she's been very successful the last few. Three serving four, that's an ace. That came over and went off our time. That ball came over and just died. And we are tied at four here in the third set. Tied in the match at one set apiece. Moreland leads this team with aces with 44 on the year. That was her 45th. Marlon to serve again. Jump float. And that's another race. That went off the tape. And then Hartan was off balance trying to handle it. And it's now 5-4 Fullerton in the third set. I gotta correct that. She's already got one ace. She's got two more aces just now on, on uh, Hartan. Makes it three for the night. 47 on the year. Marlon serving again. Hartung Uyato. And that ball is pushed over and down by Kayla Goodman. Goodman, excellent court vision that time. Saw the possibilities. Took advantage of it. Goodman saw the block formed right there. She actually, she had a hole she could have hit in the seam there if she wanted to. The block was late closing. Hartong serves, tied at five. That ball dug up by Dewberry. And that's blocked back after the hit by Nito. Dewberry gets it over. Forster. Well, that was a nice transition play from defense to offense. Good hand-eye coordination, nice platform, good passing by Jade Vorster, and then good feet getting to the net quickly, and Uyato rewarded her with the set. Hartung her two, serves six, serving five. Hartung gets it in, Dewberry, and the ball just pushed over again, just touched. And it went off Goodman, just touched by Nito. Take a look at Vorster in this broken play. Normally another player would take that. Vorster chooses to take that, and she's rewarded right away by Uyato with the set. Nobody up on the block. Tied at six, Dewberry serving. Croson, Uyato back to Croson. Down the line. That ball is hit by Moraldi, but it is an overpass, and Forster is there to put it down. Away oh, leads by one. Jane Croson loves that line attack. She just unloaded there down the line. Forster gets a nice hand coming off the court there. Kayla Kawamura is in to serve now for Hawaii. First appearance in this match. Knuckle balls it over for the ace. The ball went over and hit the Terraflex. Nito tried to get after it. The littlest Wahine comes up with the best knuckleball right there. The bottom just dropped out as it went over the net. That's popped up, bumped up by Moreland. Croson with the save. Hartung out of the back row. That's blocked back. Hawaii trying to. Hawaii is trying to uh, respond, but they called the a lift. Dave Shoji not happy at all on that call. He thought the ball was cleanly played. Here's Uyato. Here, watch the cover here. Ball's popped up right there. That's what the call was. I think he felt like Hartong just had the ball stay that's in her hand too long. That's the second time that he has railed against Bill Forrester, the up official. Uyato. Ball 